Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install and set up Mindbricks with Zeus PTGI shaders. These are highly realistic path tracing shaders combined with Lego-like bump textures. I will go through all of the steps from scratch to installing and increasing your FPS when running these shaders. Okay, let's go straight to the tutorial. First, you will need to install Optifine which you can do by opening the link, going to Downloads, and selecting the latest version, which is 1.17.1. .1. You will then want to download and open the file. If you cannot open it, you will need to download and install Java, which I have left a link for in the description. Once you have opened the file, your Minecraft folder will be located automatically. Just click Install. Next, you'll want to download Zeus PTGI, which you can obtain from Sonic Ether's Patreon page. Just scroll down and select Zeus PTGI HRR 2.1, then just drag and drop it to your desktop. Then, you'll need to download Mindbricks by opening the link, click on Files and download the 128x version for higher FPS. Just drag and drop it to your desktop. Next, open up Minecraft and you should see Optifine installed in the drop-down list. Then launch the game. In order to install Zeus, go to Options, Video Settings, Shaders and open the Shaders folder. Then just drag and drop the Zeus PTGI zip file into the folder. Go back to the game and select Zeus PTGI to load the shaders. To install Mindbricks, go back to Options, Resource Packs and open the Resource Pack folder. Then just drag and drop the Mindbrick zip file. Then click the arrow to enable it and click Done. Now, you should be able to check if it's installed by loading up a world or server. The texture pack and shaders should be fully installed and working now. However, you will need to enable the texture pack resolution in video settings, shaders, shader options and set the resolution to 1 to 8x. And that's it, the texture pack should be fully set up. As a bonus, I will show you what settings to use for maximum FPS. Go to video settings and start by setting graphics to fast, smooth lighting off with the slider and make sure the FPS is set to unlimited. Also make the render distance 8. Then go to performance settings and turn on render regions, fast render and fast math. Go back, go to shaders, shader options, surface options and turn off all parallax. Next, go to ray tracing options and set everything to low and set geometry trace to zero. And finally, Go to Atmospheric Options and set all options off. Now you should be able to go back into the game and test your FPS. I will also leave a comparison at the end. If you found this useful, leave a like and a sub, otherwise thanks for watching.